Hey guys, in this video, I will be teaching you how you can easily clone for free your old hard drive to your new SSD or NVMe M.2. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button as well so you'll be updated with my upcoming videos. Okay, now, before we can clone anything, we need to actually download a free app from AOMEI so you can just quickly download the freeware and just follow all the prompts don't worry this app is actually safe and I've used this several times already and with this one I'll be freshly installing it to my computer as well so just follow my guide and as you can see that you can back up, restore and clone for free on the standard edition from this app. So you just click OK and you can install it. OK, now that it has successfully been installed, let's just go and open the app. Alright, so in the home menu, the basically the bottom icon is the cloning. So we've got system clone, disk clone, partition clone, and disk wipe. So we will be doing the disk clone right now, and I will be cloning my old 120 gigabyte SSD to my new M.2 SSD. So we will just click the start and it will do all the process and we will just be going to wait you can have a cup of tea you can have coffee or do whatever you want you can do some sit ups first while waiting for this to finish it won't really take that long it would only take at least maybe a minute or it depends on how fast your computer can clone your old hard drive to your new ssd Okay, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, and you've got a perfectly cloned hard drive. So as you can see, I now got two similar names. Although the letter is different, I've got my main system as C still, and my uh, newly cloned hard drive is in G, but it has the same name. And if you could click as, as well and check, at this point, basically, even though my new M.2 SSD is 250GB, it only says 120GB. Don't worry, it hasn't been reduced because of the cloning. We just have to set this up again in our booting system. So let's reboot our system and so that we can organize the booting priority for our new SSD. Okay, here in our BIOS, we need to go to advanced mode and then click the boot icon and then at this point we will be going to set the hard drive BBS priorities. So basically we want to put into a boot option number one the newly cloned, uh, newly cloned hard drive. For my side it would be the M.2 and you just have to click and then exit and restart and let's wait for the system to boot and here it is now as, as I mentioned earlier that I have cloned my 250 gigabytes M.2 SSD from my Kingston 120 gigabytes so as you can see if you go to this par partition we could actually see that there is an unallocated side of whatever the extra is from my 250 gigabytes m.2 so as you can see we did not lose or anything we just have an unallocated and we just we can just make a new partition so that's it guys if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed yet i'll see you again next time and thank you for watching